asked to come in for an 8 a.m. meeting. My Gen Z new hire said, Ugh, sorry, I can't make it. I have a workout class. Should this be allowed? My visceral reaction was, are you f kidding me? No, fully like angered, typing this out. I was like, please. Like my hand's shaking and it's not from the caffeine. You just started this job. I don't give a flying sh about your workout class. So this is the thing. It comes down to not the interview process. He mentioned the interview process. What I would like to know is, what does his official documentation say? What does your official offer or, or official letter say? Because that's going to define what his actual working hours are. So it's really hard to say. However, sometimes what I what I do not like is employees want to start the job. You want to you you want to do what you got to do to get in the door, but then you want to fall off. And people don't like being flexible. Yeah, I mean that's what we got in this world. Uh, video number six, an employer tried to make a Gen Z employee come in for an 8 a.m. meeting despite being told that his working hours are from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Whose side are you on? Okay, let's see what this is. Yeah. Come up from the it's HR perspective. So from the HR perspective. my oh. HR perspective on this one. Let's go. Asked to come in for an 8 a.m. meeting. My Gen Z new hire said, Ugh, sorry, I can't make it. I have a workout class. Should this be allowed? My visceral reaction was, Are you fucking kidding me? No, fully. Like, angered, Ooh. typing this out. Ooh. I was like, Please. Like, my hand's shaking and it's not from the caffeine. You just started this job. I don't give a flying shit about your workout class. Also, an 8 a.m. workout class is too late. Workout at six, yep. maybe seven. Hi. Yeah, not at least. Doesn't so, um, we can talk about this more later, but I'm going to address this now. It was made very clear during the interview process that the working hours for this position is between 9 to 5 p.m. Eastern time and I am on Eastern time. I made that very clear with HR because I have commitments outside of work. I go to the gym, I work out because I care about my health. Okay. Sure, I can make a sacrifice to go to an 8 a.m. meeting had I known at least a week before that I needed to go at 8 a.m., not a day before. Also, my workout class starts at 7.30, not at 8, but I didn't know that I needed to tell you that. Okay, let's just say mm -hmm. I skip the gym. Two things. When can I expect you to reimburse me for my class? And two, are you going to be paying me from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. or at the very least, let me leave at 4 p.m.? Natalie, if your answer to both of those are no, then there's no discussion needed. I will see you at 9 o'clock today. Also, yeah, I sent an email to HR about this and sent them the link to that TikTok video. So, um, just to make things clear. Wow. Yeah. From the HR perspective. <clears throat> From the HR perspective. I've been in HR for well over 10 years. Do people try that bullshit? Do that, supervisors well, try that? So this is the thing. It comes down to not the interview process. He mentioned the interview process. What I would like to know is... What does his official documentation say? What does your official offer or, or official letter say? Because that's going to define what his actual working hours are. So it's really hard to say. However, sometimes what I, what I do not like is employees want to start the job. You want to you, you want to do what you got to do to get in the door. But then you want to fall off and people don't like being flexible. I don't know what his job is or what his duties are. However, from an HR perspective, if they gave him that 24 hours notice, it was nothing wrong with him being a, le a little flexible. It, it doesn't require a week. It doesn't. Because sometimes, like, literally, I'm in meetings every single day, all day. Sometimes yeah. I don't get notified about a meeting until an hour beforehand. Oh, well, it is what it is. You got to revamp your schedule. It's called being flexible. But, but once but again, I don't know what his job is or what his duties is. But if his supervisor gave him a 24 hours notice, he should have been able to make accommodations for that. But but why not have the meeting at 9 a.m.? Why, ha why have it at 8 a.m. when everybody's at work at 9 a.m.? Who knows? Who's to say that they mm -hmm. could have been meeting with someone from, a, from another uh, time zone? Hmm. Who's to say they could have been preparing for something that started at 9? Who knows? But because, then they should because, they should have made it clear that oh yeah we're going to pay you overtime or or you're going to get comp right. time. So that's what I'm saying. So it really depends. We don't know what the communication is or where the disconnect is. However, sometimes what I start what I what I've been noticing from a lot of these this the younger generation yeah. is okay. You know what? I'm not doing anything extra. Like granted, yeah. You know what? I, I go to the gym too, but you have people that don't want to give more than what they're what they're expected so sometimes it's like okay you know what i'm only I, if, if you only ask me to do a through a through c that's all i'm doing i'm not giving you d especially if you ain't paying me because that's where they say well i ain't getting paid at the end no, of the day, no 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 don't say word that's not my job paid. description 
Well, it's not. not. But description. see, this is the thing. You work down. So let's just say me. I have I have multiple employees that's under me, right? Okay. So if let's just say if I have a clerk. You know, if I have a clerk and her job title is to help with certifications with onboarding, right? And I have another clerk that's out, or let's just say my clerk is out. Now I have to do my job, including my clerks. It's called working down. I'm not asking you to do anything above your title. However, if we are a team, you have to actually help to fill in. That's where that goes. That's how that works. But I know for me, I would want to explain, well, I mean, am I going to get comped? Times that is a legitimate 10, question. Yo, okay, so that. nine times out of ten, I know for me, if I ask an employee to start early or work a, a extra time, you're going to get yeah. comp time or you're going to get overtime. One of the two. It's not free. You don't get. You don't work for free. The the fair labor standards. You you just can't work. You can't force a person to work for free. They have to get some yeah. type of compensation. Well, let, let's know that. Then let's put this in this scenario. Maybe. I mean, we don't know the whole story because we're just looking at it. Right, we don't. But maybe he was being argumentative and saying, yeah. well, uh, you ain't paying me. I ain't getting paid. Blah, 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 and I ain't coming in. Instead of just asking, is, is this OT or is this comp for me? Right. Because I'm sure they would have they would have said, ain't nothing wrong. Supervisor, I'm like, nah, no, I'm, I'm going to pay you OT. Yeah, I'm going to pay you for an hour OT. taking that to social media either. Yeah. But then I would have been like, hey, listen here. Now listen here have fun. So now she can get disciplined for even putting that out there. Like, I mean, I'd be like, yo, man. I go to the gym at eight o'clock. I don't know because at the end of the day, whatever whatever communication or lack thereof between the two of them, something is misconstrued. What he sent to HR or whatever, it, it, including that link, mm. they will research it because. But what, and, and what? That's did, what did, I would do. Didn't he snitch? He said, "I'm I'm tagging." He dry snitch like a ma. Well, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't worth it. But I mean, I guess he just felt some type of way. He being real sassy. That was real yeah. sassy. Yeah, like, yeah I mean. At the end of the day, it's like, what? First thing I would say, yeah, I could be there, but am I am I getting paid? Yeah, because my thing is, it's like, okay, you know what? You my employee, especially if he's an at-will employee. Okay, oh, you know what? It is. That's a word HR love. At, look. They love, they love that at-will look, work. At-will employee, <laughs> sorry, this is not going to work. Go find somebody else. Uh, they love that word at, at will. Look. Yeah. Man, who, who invented that shit? It's a safety protection for the employers because if once you once you get into that whole, you know, okay, the employee is permanent or whatever like that, or you know, the probationary period, like, you know, for us, me specifically yeah. with, you know, my in place of uh work, all employees get a six month probation. So I get six months for anybody that works under me, you know, pretty much that six months to evaluate you, your skills and see if you catching on. To basically what I'm training you to do. Yeah. And if I see that you're not even really putting forth the effort, something like that, and you just started, oh no. <laughs> you still on your probation. Yeah, you still on your probation. You should that's, be here. You should be here. Bad you should, you should be here seven thirty in the morning. If you doing that now, <laughs> imagine what he'll do once he's permanent. Mm. Oh, it gets worse. It gets worse. Uh, you ever run into people like this? Oh man, I ain't doing that. I ain't I ain't doing it. You know what? I'm 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 a, I'm gonna get a lawyer. Um, You're in where? Pennsylvania, man. It's at will. Lori ain't going to help so you. Lori ain't going to help you. Yeah, with us, you know, they'll be like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm calling the union. Call your union rep because let me tell you something. That's one thing about me. I'm very mm -hmm. meticulous with my writing and my documentation. I document everything. So, yeah, call oh, the union. Oh, shit, your writers be perfect, huh? Oh, yeah. Damn. <laughs> let me tell you something. I had the union come one time and it was like, and, and the girl called her, call herself trying to, you know, Rat on me about her being late. Oh, you know what? Everything is documented. Text messages, everything. And to the union, turned around and looked at her and said, "What the fuck is your problem? Like, why you just can't come to work on, on time? Like, look, here you is. You trying to try to make me look bad. Anybody that knows me, I'm very good at what I do. Very good at what I do. The union rep, he smacked him side of the head. Good work. I do. Playing around with these good folks. Nah, don't don't waste my time. <laughs> oh, because man. anybody knows anything that I do is 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 always on point. So don't don't play them games with me. Oh man, this your podcast, man. So whose side are you on? Ah. Yeah, you know I mean, I ain't on either one of their side, but I mean, you know, yeah. hey, I, I I need to. See, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to. Look. I'm talking to the people. Who you talking, I'm talking to, to the people like in the that? world out there. Y'all want to see him get smacked? Y'all want to see him get smacked? Yeah, I don't know. I might like that. You oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't I can't deal with this dude. <laughs> oh man, this your own podcast, man.